Good day, it's Mariana Price, the online moderator for Africa Moringa Hub. And today it's very exciting because we've got uh, Philip Ongonia from Kenya. And I'm introducing him to you as one of the successful farmers that are really doing an excellent job uh, farming with Moringa and with other herbs and uh, plants. And um, yes, we always follow him and we check out and see all the work that he's doing, the great work. And uh, yes, Philip, tell us a little bit more about your journey with Moringa. How did you get involved with it? It is so exciting and happy always to hear the stories about all the Moringa farmers in Africa. Yes, hello, Mariana. I start by thank you for this uh, great opportunity to share my experience as a, as a farmer, a Moringa farmer in Kenya, with uh, the rest of Africa and the world, hopefully. My name is uh, Philip Ogonya. I'm a Moringa farmer based in uh, Naibasha, Kenya. We run a, an agri-based uh, social enterprise called uh, MM Botanicals. MM stands for Moringa Miracle. We are based in uh, Naivasha, a, a little town in Nakuru County, as a part of the, the Rift Valley region of, of Kenya. We, we, apart from Moringa, we also do chia seeds and a whole array of herbs, which include uh, mint, um, thyme, sage, and oregano, and rosemary. In Naivasha, we have the nucleus fields where we, we, we train farmers and uh, make demonstrations. But otherwise, we work with farmers from across the board from most parts of our, of our country, Kenya. Uh, yes, Mariana, I got involved with uh, Moringa farming for the first time in 2017, just about five, five years down the line. That is when we started uh, the first Moringa project on uh, two and a half acres of land, that is about a hectare. And uh, this is uh, intensive Moringa cultivation, where the spacing is 10 by 10 centimeters which means you put in like 1 million plants in a hectare, which is two and a half acres. The difference between intensive cultivation, and we are proud we are the first to do that in this region, is that this system of production is purely for, for leaf production, which means in the fourth month, you will do the first, uh, what is called flat harvesting, the first pruning, and then you keep it at that, the way you do, uh, you don't, we don't, you don't let it grow into a tree, like the way you do for seed production. So this one, you keep it like that, and every every other four five weeks, you you trim, and it's purely for for leaf production. And we are happy it has done well, and it is our main, it's our main uh, mode of production for for producing leaves, which again will be solidary and fine grind in, into powder. So we are happy with what we have achieved within that scenario after these five years. Thank you. Wonderful. And Philip, uh, tell us a little bit more. you growing the other plants in between your Moringa? I mean, for instance, the mint that you grow with a Moringa and tell us the advantages of it, because obviously uh, it is a reason why you're doing it and you've been very successful with it. There's not many Moringa farmers that are doing this uh, way of planting. And I find it, you know, so great because I also like the mint and um, mint and Moringa blends very well. Uh, that's for instance in my tea blend as well. So tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, Mariana, uh, we to answer your question directly, we 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 do other other produce apart from moringa, which is an uh, there's chia seeds and then there's an array of herbs, which include uh, thyme, mint, sage, oregano, 
and rosemary, like I said before. The advantage of this is one, it is a maximization of space, which means on a, on, on a, on a parcel of land, you do so much involving all these different uh, herbs. And then aside from that, uh, these herbs, they stifle the growth of weeds. And uh, again, because of the, the aromatic uh, situation of herbs, it's also a natural biocontrol uh, system because in our production, everything is organic. We don't use any synthetic uh, fertilizers or pesticides, uh, etc. Aside from that, these herbs are a part of our a part of our value value addition chain. For example, we do moringa rosemary tea, moringa sage tea, moringa thyme tea, moringa oregano tea, etc. So this again brings in more nutritional value into the Moringa as a basic natural health health product. And again, we are so happy with this because uh, they are doing well uh, in, in, in the local market. And now we, have, we want to move it to the next level, like the international market as well. So the value addition bit is a great objective of our means of production. And the hubs have done pretty well on that front. Thank you. Great, 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 Philip. Um, yes, and uh, tell us a little bit more about the step-by-step -step with the oil pressing. Because obviously you've been doing it for a long time. You're not just only uh, pressing uh, Moringa, you're also pressing other seeds as well. I know you do chia seeds and uh, you're a whole string of seeds. You're welcome to mention all the seeds that you are doing as well, or the other oils. Uh, very impressive and um, it's very encouraging. But tell us a little bit more. Thanks. <clears throat> yeah, yes, Mariana, the, the, the pulse takes uh, like three to four weeks to dry. And then prior to putting them into the oil expeller, they are dehusked. So what goes into the expeller is uh, the kernel, the, the, the white inside. And uh, the process, we, the oil, oil expeller has a capacity for a thousand raw material per day. But you know the, the oil content uh, for Moringa is uh, depending on the quality of the seeds, uh, 15 to 20 percent uh, would, uh, of the raw material would produce the oil. Then what remains is uh, the, the Moringa seed cake, which is a byproduct. That one we normally sell to people who do animal feed. And uh, from the husks and the seed cake again, uh, that is used for purifying water in areas where dirty water is a challenge. So that is how one of the reasons why Moringa is called a miracle because it serves so many purposes in one way or the other. The benefits of Moringa oil is, is, is amazing. Uh, as a natural beauty product, it is one of the best carrier oils for moisturizing hair, moisturizing and taking care of the skin. So it is a great product for natural beauty and cleansing. But at the same time, uh, Moringa oil can be used for sparingly for culinary purposes, like you can sprinkle it into, into salads, etc. And now we are in the process of developing Moringa oil uh, for using in, in cooking, whereby we are thinking of infusing Moringa oil with certain herbs like rosemary, but that is still in the experimental stages. 
So to go back on it, it is one of the best career oils. It has been used since uh, in Africa since the, the early ages, since uh, the Egyptian, the early Egyptians used it for as a natural beauty product. And we are happy to be at the forefront of presenting it to Africa and the world as a fine natural career career oil. Thank you. Wow, wow, fantastic, Philip. You are truly encouraging. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love the oils. I love the uh, the smell of, you know, all the oils. And um, I mean, Moringa is also a very good carrier oil. Uh, so um, we need to know uh, a little bit more of other products that you're making. Because you also, I've got a whole range of products that you have on the market. And you're obviously using the oils in the soaps and or you're using the um, the leaves and the uh, my capsules and everything. Tell us what exactly you're doing there. It is it is super exciting today. Uh, uh, yes, Mar Mariana. What else do we do with moringa oil? Uh, we with moringa oil we we produce or make moringa body butter, handmade moringa soap, moringa lotion, and uh, moringa bands. So again, we are happy with the, the way we are developing it further into these other, you know, natural beauty product lines. For the leaves, uh, the basic is we solar dry the leaves that we sell as moringa loose leaves for people who prefer using that as a for tea. But the the big the the, the, the bigger product uh, for the leaves is the solar dried and fine milled moringa leaf powder. And uh, we have another product which is the the kernel the, the moringa seed kernel the inside the one the one that comes out after you dehusk this again we grind into moringa kernel powder so once again the variety of what you can do with moringa is amazing that is why i keep on saying it that's how, how come it's called the miracle the miracle tree thank you uh, yes, Mariana, again, uh, there's an array of uh, other seed oils that we, we, we cold press. This includes chia seed oil, um, there's baobab seed oil, castor oil, black seed oil, uh, coconut oil, and sesame oil. These are all great Korean vegetable oils, and uh, our, our line of product product development still continue we are still exploring other possibilities within that uh, particular department and uh, so far we are happy with the progress thank you wow all i can say the whole day is just wow 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 <laughs> it's very impressive philip um kenya can be very proud of you and uh, I'm sure you are enjoying what you're doing. You've got a great passion for what you're doing as well. And uh, yeah, I'm very uh, blessed to know you and that we are friends in the Moringa world. Um, you're also doing some community work. You are very involved in the community and you've got a community program. What is that all about? Mm, Mariana, I'm so happy about this question about involvement for communities around us. We involve uh, local communities uh, right from the product production aspect. We contract local small scale farmers to produce Moringa for us, whereby we offer technical support from the beginning. And at the same time, we supply seeds, if it is for leaf production and seedlings if it is for seed production and then at the end of it all during harvest time we buy these products from them 
through this we are happy that we are contributing towards uh, poverty elevation among communities and at the same time you know through income gen gen generation programs aside from that we we encourage the local communities to include moringa in their dietary systems where they we, we have introduced them into using moringa leaves as vegetable the same the, the, the same way uh, to use uh, the moringa pods you know the young pods just like the way you do french beans and uh, and at the same time they have started using moringa powder for tea so to, to cap it all we have uh, improved the nutritional health of the local communities through those initiatives then uh, one of our biggest areas is environmental conservation we propagate seedlings in in our in our website there's there's, there's a, a page that we call we green africa with moringa oriflera so what this means is that we propagate moringa seedlings and in this again we involve the communities especially the youth and the women groups whereby we pay them to to propagate uh, the seedlings then these seedlings are planted in schools in community lands in in, in government forests in parks with a, with the main objective of mitigating against climate change and uh, deforestation and uh, for your information you know moringa has the advantage of being the fastest growing tree so it is it's really uh, good for this this kind of of, of uh, program because it takes like 12 months one year for it to, to grow into a, into, a, into a reasonable tree and then again it has been proved that moringa is the the biggest absorbent of carbon in the air so again this contributes greatly towards uh, um, uh, okay carbon absorption which again is a great thing for the environment so uh, we are happy we are happy that uh, we we are doing well in this there are some depleted, depleted forests before that are now picking up through through our initiatives so so basically the communities around us are happy with our projects they've em em embraced it well and as we go on we, we, we expand from from where we are to other parts of the country and hopefully africa one time so thank you so much uh, for this opportunity and like i said at the beginning uh, it's a great uh, opportunity for us to share and uh, as farmers of Moringa and as a part of the Moringa community in Africa and hopefully as we go along we would like to share with the rest of the world thank you so much for this opportunity and uh, God bless you thank you and bye bye and we are learning all the way Philip you are doing a great job Congratulations for, I, I can give you accolades for what you are doing. You are truly, truly an inspiration for us at Africa Moringa Hub. And we are proud uh, to call you a friend of Africa Moringa Hub. And uh, it is so encouraging. And yes, uh, we will have another chat to you when we launch the, the Big Seed edu um, Moringa uh, Peace Education Program next month. So I'm looking forward and uh, keep up the good work. And thank you for, for telling us all about the great work that you're doing. And um, thank you. Take care. Bye.